I have one basketball question for you. It is your 11th uh, All-Star game. We are very excited for you. I feel, though, that you're probably looking at Devin Booker and going, I want my guy there with me. There is a chance, Anthony Davis, because the injury is not going to be there. How great would it be to have Devin Booker by your side if that were the case? First and foremost, it's an honor and a privilege uh, to be an All-Star. That's something that never take for granted. A um, lot of hard work, um, you know, my teammates, my coaching staff, but probably the most bittersweet uh, of them all because Book is an all-star. Our team, the Phoenix Suns, we go as Book goes, and um, he knows that, and we know that. So, Devin Booker was not named an all-star, and you know what this reminds me of? Reminds me a lot of, like, high school ball, college ball, where essentially guys that have a name or a reputation – you know, they just automatically get shoveled in on the team. And, like, a guy that's really good because he doesn't know how to navigate the politics, he doesn't get on a team or he doesn't be, he's not a starter because the coach already has his guy. Well, guess what? The NBA is ushering the same basketball politics by not naming Devin Booker an all-star. And it's crazy because these politics have gone on since middle school, high school, and now in, in college and in the pros. Like, it's just like, for some reason, certain guys don't catch a break just because of certain politics. Like, it makes no sense. Devin Booker's averaging 24 points per game. He's averaged like 3.8 uh, assists, uh, though 3.8 rebounds and 4.5 assists. Chris Paul, who was named an All-Star, is averaging 16 points a game. And he gets more All-Star, he gets more All-Star consideration consideration than Devin Booker. Now, here's here's the thing that's kind of like driving me crazy, right? The NBA, they want to institute all these new little things in the All-Star game and little new sudden death rules. They need to get out of their norms. Just because we saw a guy be an All-Star last year doesn't mean we need to see him again be an All-Star the next year. They need to start rotating players in and out. If you're not having an all-star season, you're not an all-star. You know what I'm saying? Like, Devin Booker's having an all-star season. Not to say anything bad about Chris Paul because he's, he's using the all-star. But if you're going to pick one or two of the, out of the two in the, in the, on the team, you want to pick Devin Booker. Now, the NBA, since they want to stick with their norms, Chris Paul might sell more tickets. And they need to get out of that, that norm. Since they want to be innovative, and I'm all about being innovative, they should do this. Add another roster spot or another five roster spots and call them like red shirt spots or whatever the case is. You're, you're an all-star or whatever. You're a walk-on, and we could throw you in the game whenever we need to or, or give them a limited period of time. Add an extra couple roster slots. Give the people what they want because you're giving them what they want by giving them the same old convoluted all-star appearances, the same guys over and over. You're giving them LeBron. You're giving them Steph. But somewhere in the middle, when you're giving them LeBron and Steph, sandwich in Devin Booker so people can uh, digest him better and then he becomes more popular. The system is broken. It's, it's broken and it's because... We always are accustomed to seeing certain guys. Certain guys are always on prime time. And we understand they sell tickets. But they, this, the system has to be changed. Either, you know, you allow players most to be way a lot more. Or another option is this. People that have league pass, if they vote, their vote worth is worth double. So, like, people that have league pass and they watch the Phoenix Suns, they could vote 10 times or whatever, and it counts for 20. So, at least that balances the scale as opposed to just anybody voting. Because this is a, a mockery of guys who are really all-stars. And the players know it. Here's another option as well. Allow older players that come to the all-star game to vote for all-star. And their vote counts for, you know, three times or whatever the case is. Make it where we can divvy up the votes. Add an extra roster spot. Add an extra two roster spots. It's an all-star game. Nobody's going to play 48 minutes in an all-star game. You can share share the wealth as much as you would like. This just doesn't make any sense, like as opposed to as to why Devin Booker is not an all-star. And I'll say this: this is why players don't want to play in small markets because they don't get any recognition and they don't get any respect. And the fact that they 
you know, they get respect from their peers, but the fans and the fandom and the NBA, the machine, like I said before, they're not pushing pushing them guys. They're not putting them in primetime games. They're not um, advertising them in the ads. And then people are like, oh, it's a travesty. Devin Book. But it's, it's the NBA itself that's doing that. So while we're saying like, oh, like it's, a, it's, it's bad, it's the NBA themselves that's doing that. They're doing it themselves. They're perpetuating this. And what, what's, what's bad about this is this. They will make it where small markets are going to keep losing players and they're going to start complaining, more lockouts, and they're going to die out because they don't just give, they don't give those markets enough love. Guys like Devin Booker aren't getting enough love. Zach Levine just made an all-star team and he's been nice for the past three years. Damian Lillard was missing all-stars. Like, these guys have been nice, but, you know, you're alienating them. And then what happens is, you'll be like, oh, there's a loss on viewership. Duh, because everybody's not getting love. See, growing up as a kid, I used to see all the players. Like, Aaron, you guys, Mitch Richmond, Stephon Marbury, um, Glenn Rice. I'm t Guys, I'm not even talking about Jordan. I'm not talking about Patrick Ewan. I'm not talking about... Um, you know, Akeem Olajuwon. I'm not talking about any of those guys. Notice that. I'm bringing up guys that, Eddie Jones, guys that you know were nice, period. You know why? Because it was um, much more, like, diversified in terms of how guys got in got in the All-Star game. You know what I'm saying? You, you used to watch these guys. You're like the Ray Allen before he became Jesus Shuttleworth, Seattle Ray Allen, Milwaukee Bucks, Glenn, big dog Glenn Robinson. These are the guys that, you know, when Kobe wasn't on, T-Mac wasn't on, you're watching these guys like, yo, this Katina Mobley. You're like, these guys are dope. You know why? Because the NBA used to push that a lot more. And I understand, like, maybe the league might not have been, has been as popular back then because, you know, super teams, money, or whatever. But now you got the clout. You need to cause a cosmic shift in the direction that you're taking. Because the direction that they're taking, they're going to kill the small markets. It's going to be another lockout. And then guys are going to be still complaining about, you know, we don't get no love and stuff like that. It makes no sense. They need to fix the system. And we got some answers here. Hopefully they take those into consideration. Who's Junction? Who's me Supla? Like, comment, subscribe.